Comforters and quilts. What's the difference? We're going to find out today. I'm going to talk about the construction of each type of bedding, the similarities, the differences, and who should get one over the other. Let's get started. This is a quilt, and over the years, you've probably seen quilts either at your grandmother's house, maybe even in a museum. And a lot of quilts, the old style, are going to be patchwork and have a really interesting design. And most of those were handmade, but now they're made by machines and, and factories. You can find them online or even at the store. Now, what's interesting about quilts is they have three layers. Let's talk about those right now. Top layer is probably going to be something like cotton, like we have here. The center is going to be something like wool, faux wool, like we have here, or maybe even a thin layer of down. Now, this quilt here is only two layers, but imagine this here on the top, also on the bottom. And they sew all the way through to keep it all together. It's a thinner type of bedding you can put over your other bedding on your bed, over your couch, or even as a tablecloth. And this is a comforter. Now, I know a lot of you out there have probably slept with a comforter. You might be using a comforter right now. But what makes a comforter a comforter? Let's break it down just pretty quickly. So, you know, a piece of fabric on top running across the whole length of the comforter. Same on the bottom. Then some sort of gridded stitching like you see here to hold the fill in place. Now, what's the fill? Well, with a comforter, it's usually going to be down feathers or some type of down alternative. A comforter is usually a fluffier type of bedding and very, very common commonly used, but it's also interchangeably called duvet and comforter. And in Europe, mostly only called duvet. So it gets a little bit confusing, but if you want to know more about the differences between duvet and comforter, Google Mattress Clarity duvet versus comforter. So how do these two types of bedding compare? What are the similarities and what are the differences? First off, in terms of similarities, you're gonna have some very similar constructions in both types of bedding. So you might have cotton in the outer shell of both types of bedding, inside some type of down or maybe a little bit of wool as well. So similar in that respect, but how are they different? Well, first off, just looking at these two types of bedding, the comforter and quilt, comforters are going to be thicker. They're going to be fluffier than quilts in general. It does depend on how much fill is in the comforter, but this is a pretty standard or comforter here, just looking at, again, look how much taller this is than this quilt here. Now, because of the extra fill, because of the extra fluff, in general, comforters are going to be warmer than quilts. So better for colder nights, better for the colder months. Also, comforters and quilts can be used in a couple of different ways. Well, with comfort is pretty much one way. Put it on your bed, used for warming up your bed, sleeping through the night. Now, quilts, on the other hand, especially if they're a smaller size, you can also use them over your couch. You can also use them as a tablecloth and overall use them for your bed as well. Then there are going to be some slight design differences. Now, if you're dealing with a sewn through comforter like we have here, pretty similar to what you're going to find with a quilt. They sew all the way through to keep the fill inside. It's going to be more on the thinner side. Now, when you're talking about a baffle box comforter, this gets very, very different. So the baffle box comforter, you have more of a cube for the actual fill to be inside of. So it fluffs up more, definitely makes for a fluffier type of comforter and very different from what you find with a quilt. Now, also it's going to have style differences. Now, I am the least stylish person on the Mattress Clarity team, but I know the difference between a quilt and a comforter just looking at it. Because in general, comforters have more of a subdued style. This one's plain white. You can also get some with different colors and some designs as well. But with a quilt, you can have more of that patchwork design, more of a kind of crazy flamboyant design. So who should get a quilt? Who are quilts the best fit for? Well, first off, I think quilts are a very, very good option for hot sleepers because in general, quilts are going to be thinner than comforters. They're going to sleep a little bit cooler than comforters. So if you overheat at night, I would definitely take a look at a quilt. Now, also, if you want something that is going to add a different look to your bed very, very quickly, a quilt can definitely do that for you, especially something with a wilder design. You can add it to your bed for a very, very different look, whether it's rustic or more vintage. And then last but not least, if you want something that's going to be good for a layered look, I would also go with a quilt because a quilt pairs very, very well with a comforter actually. So to add more of a layered look to your bedding, definitely take a look at a quilt. So who should get a comforter? Who is a comforter the best fit for? Well, first off, if you want something to keep you warm at night, a comforter is definitely a better option than a quilt. A quilt, you're gonna have to definitely pair up with something else to give you the amount of warmth you're gonna get with a comforter. So whether you're a cold sleeper, you want something for colder nights or the colder months, I would go with a comforter. Now also, if you want something that is fluffier, loftier, you want more of that cloud-like experience, a comforter is also the better bet for you. In general, comforters are going to be thicker and fluffier than quilts. And then and last but not least, if you want something you can use by itself, I would also go with a comforter. With a quilt, you're gonna have to pair it up again with a comforter or more quilts to get enough warmth. With a comforter, you can use it just by itself. 
So at this point, you should know the differences between quilts and comforters. But if you're still a little bit confused, you want a personal recommendation, just leave a comment below. Also, if you want to see a list of my top picks for comforters, Google Mattress Clarity Best Comforters. And again, let me know if you have any questions.